little sloppy offensively, I thought, turned the ball over two or three times. Uh, you know, it's credit to them. They caused the turnovers with, uh, with their hits and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm happy that you win, you advance. That's the name of the game in the playoffs. Sometimes you got to win, win ugly. So, so uh, you know, we're proud of where we're at and then looking forward to the third round. You seem like you're clicking on all cylinders there in the first half. You had a couple of fumbles there that maybe slowed you down. Yeah, it was. I mean, that, that's the thing. You know, if we don't kill ourselves, we got a chance to be pretty good offensively, and we have been all year. So that's very uncharacteristic of us to lay the ball on the ground, too. So, so uh, you know, I'm glad it's out during this game. Hopefully we won't have any the rest of the way. Offense usually grabs the headlines. You guys have been very proficient offensively, but defensively, you know, you've held, I think, teams to 100 points total coming into this game, and your defense came up big, it seemed, tonight. They did, and they had some weapons. That, uh, that tailback was really good. Scared me to death on the kickoff team. Uh, you know, the tailback, we kicked it to him a couple times. He made a play or two. But, uh, you know, defensively, we've played well all year. You know, if you give up 14 points, you ought to be in every ball game. You ought to have a chance to win that. So, so, and we've done better than that the whole season. So, so if you can play great defense, you know, you, you, you got a chance at making a run. Looks like Mount Juliet won tonight in Dixon County. Uh, you guys played them last year. I know you weren't there, but it was a quarterfinal matchup last year, so it's going to be a rematch in the quarterfinals. Talk about that matchup. Well, I know our kids. I don't think it'll be a problem getting them excited for this one. Uh, Mount Juliet's a well-coached team. They've been here before, and so has Brentwood. So so uh, it doesn't get any better than next week. That's, that's, that's what you play for and what you work for. Congratulations. Good Thank luck. you, guys. Appreciate it. Coach, can you talk about your running game? I know you had the two fumbles, but when you were holding on to it, you were very steady with a lot of different guys. Yeah, yeah, we tried to spread it around. I thought we I thought we did a good job of uh, knocking some holes up in there. They had eight, nine, ten in, at the line of scrimmage. So, But, you know, we can't fumble the football. That, that kills drives. And we can't, can't uh, take losses or penalties, and we did that all of that tonight. So, so we got to do a better job of being a little bit more disciplined. I'll put that on my shoulders. we got to do a better job of being disciplined and uh, not losing yardage and not putting it on the ground. And there, uh, late in the game, you guys are up by two touchdowns. You have a fourth and two, and you decide to go for it. Was that just more about Aaron's ability to get first downs in those situations? Yeah, I mean, we didn't, they had a little momentum at that time. It was 28-14, I think, so we didn't want to give it back to them. So we knew we could probably end up you know, burning it up the rest of the way. So uh, we just didn't want them to have the football again.